to another episode of Korok's Corner. I'm your host, Korok Xavier. Today, we'll be talking about the FBI versus Apple. Now, if you have not been following the mainstream of the news as of late, you will have heard about Apple versus the FBI. This is a case where three terrorists were apprehended. Two of them destroyed their Apple iPhones, and the third one did not. From whatever I've been able to read in the news media and on video, I have ascertained that the FBI has gone to Apple verbally and asked them to crack an Apple iPhone for them of a known terrorist within this country. The information upon this phone could possibly save thousands of lives, perhaps more. Unfortunately, Apple has refused the FBI in the software to crack the Apple iPhone to protect the end users, which is the privacy of the people that own their Apple iPods. Now, normally I would agree with this, but the user of this Apple iPod is a terrorist. He is not, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, he is not a viable citizen of this country. He does not have the right to have his privacy maintained. And what I'm going to talk to you today about is the moral implications of what Apple and the FBI are engrossed in. First of all, I believe the FBI have done a very mature and very responsible thing by going to Apple and asking for them to crack the Apple iPhone for them. You see, if you enter the code incorrectly 10 times, all information on that Apple iPhone is destroyed. Now, Apple, according to your end license user agreement, um, this is a violation of your consumer's privacy. Like I said before, this is a terrorist. You should not be protecting his rights of his privacy. All the FBI is doing is asking you to take the phone, crack it. You keep the software, destroy the software for all the FBI cares, they just want you to unlock the phone. They're not going to be at your doorstep every 10 minutes asking you to crack someone's phone. This is a moral obligation of an American-based company, Apple. You are helping to save lives if you do this. This is not unreasonable to aid to the request of the U.S. government. You are aiding the U.S. people, the people that buy your phones. Now, whether or not you believe that this is a, a moral, you know, principle of doing the right thing, doing the right thing should always overcome profit and personal security. When you know that you can save lives, it is your obligation as American citizens and as an American-based company to help the U.S. government out in any ideal terrorist organization hell-bent on destroying the very fabric of the lives of the American people in which both of you serve. Now you can stand there and argue the moral indications to the end of time or to the end when the cows come home. You know, you can do that. You're delaying the inevitable. Every day that goes by and you do not help the government find that information in that phone to protect the American people and to prevent terrorists that may be on that phone, that many lives could be lost. Can you afford to take that choice? Can you afford to take that risk that because of your moral principles, because of your eth you know, your ethic responsibility to your consumer, protection of lives don't matter? This isn't about right or wrong. This is about saving lives. End of story. Grow up, be reasonable, help protect the people of this great nation and of our citizens abroad. You cannot take full responsibility and deny this because if the information on that phone could save thousands of lives and you refuse to give it and thousands of lives are killed, as far as I'm morally concerned, you're responsible because you had a reason an ethical reason to protect the great people of this nation. 
Now I'm not trying to ramble. I'm trying to prove a point here. When does the cost of moral integrity outweigh the cost of lives? This is not an issue for debate. This is not an issue for the courts. This is an issue of doing the right thing. Keep your software. Keep the integrity of your end user license agreement. They're only asking for one phone. Oh, sure, you say, well, if this is one phone, it's going to end up being five or six a month. You know what? If it saves lives, it's your responsibility. Don't become stupid. Save the lives of people in which buy your products. Apple, you can come out to be heroes in this. The FBI only want to do their job. When you cease and desist your argumentative judgment in this, more time lapses by, more people's lives are at risk. It is, I understand your viewpoint on this, and I'm not saying you're wrong, but when is the cost too high? When do we stop doing the right thing because other people would be at risk? I have a phone. The information on my phone, if I do something wrong, I deserve to have that information given to the government. It's not the government trying to overlook our lives, spying on us. That's not their intention. Their intention is to protect. And they would never go after somebody and violate their privacy if they did not have a damn good reason to do so. Understand, it is a difference between knowing to do the right thing and knowing when not to do it. This could save lives. This is important. Wasting time on this, guys. Let's get that information off there for them. Keep the software. Just crack it for them. Help these men and women in our government do their jobs. It's not hard. It may be a little bit detestable for you. But you have to learn to give in order to receive. When you're a company within this great nation, you do have an integrity, a responsibility to the people that use your products. You also have a responsibility to the safety of the men and women that fight to protect it. And the men and women and children that could be at risk because of it. It's not in my version of how I think I believe you should give the information to the FBI. Help them out with this. Don't be stagnant or stubborn about this. Do the right thing. I believe it's the right thing to do to help out the FBI. And I think a lot of people out there agree with me on this, but also agree about privacy. But there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Okay? The government's not out there to prosecute every small little case they've got. They got bigger fish to fry, trust me. But what I suggest is, Apple, do this. Don't just do this for yourselves. Do this for the people that use your products. Do this for the American people that would be saved because of it. I want Apple to think about this very seriously. Understand that the FBI is not asking anything outrageous. They're trying to do their jobs to protect the people in which they serve. You should understand this because, believe it or not, they're doing the same thing you are, protecting people. When is enough enough? When does a piece of paper or a digital copy of an end user agreement stop the safety of lives? Well, anyway, this is Korok Xavier of Korok's Corner. I'm sorry that I've rambled, but I had to get this off my chest. If I make any sense to anybody out there, call Apple. Send letters. Send emails. Let them know that they need to do this. The cost is too high. We can't afford not to pay it. Thank you very much for your time.